Welcome again to the Shooting USA YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. An interesting factoid, some of our more popular videos see as many as 75 or 80% of you are not subscribed to our channel. If you like the content you're seeing, please honor us with a subscription. And if you're interested in full-length current episodes of Shooting USA after it airs on the network, there's a link in this video's description to our Vimeo channel. Now, here's the content you came to see. I'm going to talk to you today about reading the Wind and Mirage. Being able to accurately read the Wind and Mirage will greatly enhance your performance as you compete down the rifle range. Here are some guidelines for how wind affects different things on the range. Zero to three miles per hour, hardly felt but smoke drifts. Three to five miles per hour, felt lightly on the face. Five to eight miles per hour, keeps leaves in constant movement. Eight to 12 miles per hour, raises dust and loose paper. 12 to 50 miles per hour causes small trees to sway. Now that we've determined the wind speed, we have to determine its direction. This is because the wind blowing across the range has much greater effect on the bullet than wind coming from behind you or in front of you. When we talk about wind direction on the range, we use the clock system. Winds from the front or rear are zero value because they do not shift the bullet's flight. Winds from the one, five, seven, and 11 o'clock are half value. Winds from the two to four o'clock from the right and from the eight to 10 o'clock from the left are full value and they have the greatest effect on the bullet. Another way to assist with reading the wind speed and direction is through the use of mirage. Mirage is the reflection of light through layers of air based off the temperature of the ground. These layers caused by deferring temperatures are blown by the wind and can be monitored through a spotting scope to detect direction and speed. You can see what appears to be waves running across the range. This is mirage. The waves appear to be running right to left, which indicates a wind coming out of the right. To clearly see the mirage, the first thing that you need to do is focus directly on the target. Once the target is in focus, the next thing you need to do is take your adjustment knob, turn it a quarter turn counterclockwise, and that will make the mirage your primary focus. To better estimate your wind speed, what you want to try is wind bracketing. Wind bracketing is where you take the estimate of the highest possible condition and the lowest possible condition, and you take the average of the two and put it on your rifle. This should ensure that your first shot will hit every time. Today I'm going to be shooting at 600 yards, and I've averaged that the wind speed is about 5 miles per hour, so my hold off is going to be about 9 inches. In conclusion, what you need to do is take everything that we've learned today and apply them to your given wind conditions on your own range. Have a good time, and until then, stay Army Strong. Well, you've made it to the end of another Shooting USA video on YouTube, and for that, we thank you. It does help the channel if you subscribe, like, and comment, and that will help us keep the content coming.